And our last problem, number 10. Uh, this is going to be a very basic one. I can either choose to eliminate my x's or I can choose to eliminate my y values. Either one. I have that option. Because I see this one's negative and this one's positive, I'm just going to choose to work with my y values. Okay, so if this is a positive 3y, I need this one to be a negative 3y. To get that to become a negative 3y, all I need to do is multiply this thing by a positive 3. So we're going to distribute and we're going to get a 6x minus 3y equals 24. We bring down the second equation just like it is. Add down, we get 7x. These cancel just like I hoped. Divide both sides by 7. x equals 5. Now I'll go back into either one of the original. I'm just going to use the second one this time. And substitute 5 in place of x. So I say 5 plus 3y equals 11. We're solving to get y by itself. 11 minus 5 is going to be 6. Divide by 3. And we find out y equals 2. Our ordered pair, we put our x value first, then our y value, and we're done. Now, in all of these problems, if I were taking a test, they're quite time consuming procedures for it, but if I were taking a test, I want to know if 5-2 is the right answer before I put it in. So if you want to know if there's a way to check your answers before you submit, yes there is. So what we're going to do on this next page, I'm going to write this equation down and then I'm going to plug the values in and check my answer. So I'm just going to show you one example how to check your answer and you can use the same process and procedure for every single one of the problems that we worked previously. So I'm going to take and let's make sure I write the problem down. Our last one was 2x minus y equals 8. And then our equation number 2 was x plus 3y equals 11. And I'm getting that directly from here. Okay, just going to take both equation 1 and equation 2. I'm going to try my answer, 5, 2 my answer that we got we said was the order pair 5 2 now I want to check that so in equation number one I'm going to plug 5 in for x and 2 in for y that's my x that's my y and I bring the rest of the equation down exactly like it is 2 times 5 is 10 10 minus 2 is 8 equals 8 check it worked in the first equation now I try it in my second equation I'm gonna plug 5 in for X 2 in for Y bring everything else down exactly like it is 2 times 3 is 6 11 equals 11 check since both my order pair solution when I plugged it back into equation 1 it was true when I plugged it back into equation 2, it was true, it checked, I am confident that the ordered pair 5, 2 is a solution to my answer. Now, like I said, we can use this same check for every problem that we did in this lesson. So you can go back and plug any ordered pair in, substitute it in, and know for sure that this is your answer. And I highly suggest that you do that, um, especially on tests and quizzes.